Watts has still got hands. Baker Mayfield, let's talk it. His future is still in limbo. So we're going to run through some options for the former number one pick and play. Baker matchmaker. <laughs> Acho, get us started. It is rumored that Baker could end up in Carolina. What are the chances he starts for the Panthers? Baker matchmaker. We got high, we got medium, we got low. As it pertains to Baker Mayfield in Carolina, extremely low. It's somewhere on the, on the ground. He's not going to Carolina. Here's why we know that. Why? Is Baker Mayfield actually that great an upgrade over Sam Darnold? No, because Ooh. Sam Darnold was bad, but Baker Mayfield last season was bad. Number two reason we know that. Mm -hmm. Robbie Anderson, star wide receiver. He said, man, I don't want nothing to do with Baker Mayfield. But the most important reason we know Baker's not going to Carolina, Matt Rule has the hottest seat of any coach in football this mm, year. Mm. Matt Rule fired his offensive mm. coordinator, Joe Brady, in the middle of last season. If you were a head coach, if you were a head coach, Sel, if you were a head coach, would you really want to tether the success of maybe your final season in the NFL to this man? No. Low. Baker Mayfield in Carolina. I'm with you. It's low because uh, I have the option of no. But <laughs> at the same time, you know what, if I'm Matt Rule, I might have to just throw out one. You know, throw a Hail Mary. Hope that Baker Mayfield can do it, because Sam Darnold looks like you can't do it. Here's the thing about these Carolina Panthers, and Robbie Anderson is like, nah, dawg, we good. And y'all not good. Y'all, 5-12 and 12 last year. The last seven games scored 21 points or fewer. You know how many times they scored over 30 points? One time in 17 games. Horrible passing game in terms of totality. Baker Mayfield is not an upgrade of that degree over Sam Darnold. But for self-preservation, if I'm Matt Rule, can't run it back, can't say, hey, Cam Newton, you want it? Sam Darnold, you don't want it, you don't have it. Maybe there is a flyer, so that's why I didn't go no. I went low. All right, Acho, option number two is Seattle, where some reports have connected the Seahawks to Baker with the Russell Wilson out the building. Chances of Baker in Seattle, bro. I'm I'm sky high. I think they're very high in Seattle. They should be. Mm. The Seahawks need somebody who can really stabilize the position. Now I get it. They paid Geno Smith $3.5 million today and another $3.5 in incentives. That means Geno Smith can potentially earn $7 million. That's not a lot for a starting quarterback. Baker on a hook for $18 million. Even if you bring in Baker, you're paying one of your starters a combined $25 million. Drew Locke on a rookie deal, so call it $28 million for three quarterbacks. That's still sufficient. I like Baker Mayfield in Seattle, sky high. I know you don't like him. He just fits your cap. He just, everything you said about to do, no stats. Good money, no stats. I like how much he costs, man. Low. Baker Mayfield low in Seattle. Let me tell you why. It's real simple. In Seattle, they're rebuilding. And no one knows the mental makeup of Baker Mayfield as he's going through this transition from being the number one overall pick starter in Cleveland to wherever is next. Dog, if you're going on job interviews, don't you put your best foot forward? Or do you cross your leg on your boy's couch and have a two-hour <laughs> podcast with your dog even sitting there like, man, shut up. All these damn excuses. Watch the dog next time. The dog is hilarious. You're like, I heard this before, Baker. You blame Odell. You blame Hugh Jackson. You blame the personnel. You blame the organization. You blaming everybody, but who is that blame? You, Baker Mayfield, while the wet concrete is in Seattle, building a new foundation, but you dare let Baker Mayfield step all on it. All right, let's move on to option number three. Baker Mayfield, Acho, what's his chances ending up a backup anywhere? I'm going to say medium sell because when I look at it, the Steelers have Mitch Trubisky, but I think they're committed to Mitch, so you could go there, likely be a backup. The Saints, we know what time it is. Taysom Hill said, you know what, I'm done with this quarterback nonsense, but they still have Jameis Winston. I believe they're paying Jameis mm. Winston 14 a year or 28, something along those lines, either 28 and 2 or 14 and 1. Mm. So when I look at it, Jameis Winston's already solidified in New Orleans. Yeah. Now you could go to Atlanta, but Marcus Mariota's there. So yeah. Baker yeah. Mayfield, there yeah. is a average chance he ends up at a backup. I don't think it's high. I don't think it's low. I think that would be best for him, and that's why I'm with you. Medium. I don't think Baker Mayfield's sorry. I just think that he's not his best friend in terms of serving himself as a starter. It's more than just physically can I make the throws. It's the mental makeup to bring guys around you and inspire them. That's where he's lacking right now. But as a backup, somewhere where they're going to serve him some humble pie, as a guy who's been a backup, who used to be a starter? Oh, it's a lot different at practice when Cass looking at you like, you gonna get that Gatorade? You gonna get that helmet for me? Or you gonna go chase those balls for me? Or you gonna run scout team for me? 
I hate to say it because no one wants to prescribe this, but Baker Mayfield needs that humbling process to occur this year so he can rebound after this. All right, our last option for Baker. What are the chances he stays in Cleveland? Hell no, he ain't staying. I'm with you. I'm with, can we can we lead a set? I uh, know. Can hey, we lead a can set? Can we still get paid in there? <laughs> None. None. No. Absolutely no, no chance no. that Baker Mayfield no. stays in Cleveland. They reported today Deshaun, uh, Deshaun was up there. Oh, yeah, Baker didn't even show up. So there is absolutely no chance that Baker Mayfield. And what's wrong, Sal? What's wrong? No, dog. All right, forget what the happened? segment. Baker what ain't saying You Dog, when we prepare for the show, I try to be a good teammate and let you go out there and say, okay, in the B block, we should do this. And in the C block, we should do this. That's what fine. Happened? You told me medium, high, or low. I didn't know I had a no option. What you say during yesterday's show, what? the only box that anybody can put you in is, is no box. Is no box. Damn Why it. you put yourself in a box? Make this show. Change that. Flip that. Give me that. I want that no. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't standing in you know how Kevin Stefanski feels about Baker Mayfield right now? Distance is better for both of True. us, right? If you're Deshaun Watson, do you want Baker Mayfield stands that are still out there in the dog pound to see Deshaun Watson start slow or have a second interception mm -hmm. in the game? And Baker, you don't want any of that. We know that turning to Baker Mayfield in any respect is not best for this organization going forward. Baker Mayfield has to go somewhere and hit a hard reset. Let me flip it on his head, because we're talking about it from the Browns' perspective. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Man, damn. We're talking about it from the Browns' perspective, but from Baker's perspective, there's no reason. Keep in mind, mm, Deshaun Watson, 22 civil allegations still pending. Now, there is going to be a loud uproar, even if Deshaun Watson is completely ah. cleared, a loud uproar from the NFL that Deshaun should face some sort of suspension, yeah. just some sort. Some of. People just going to be like, suspend him just because he's nasty. Mm. Just suspend him, right? <laughs> So if you were to suspend Deshaun yeah, Watson, yeah. and I'm Baker, yeah. nah, I ain't playing for y'all. Y'all made your bed, now lay in it. Really? So even if you look at it from the Browns' perspective, mm. and the Browns are like, well, let's keep Baker around just in case Deshaun is suspended for four games over, over the course of the regular season. If I'm Baker, mm. nah, don't even call you me. You sure? It's the caller uh, is blocked. Now nah, I don't like that point. Why not, Sam? You're getting a little too egotistical, a little too arrogant. Grandma said to boss some corner cop, you need a job. He need a job. He ain't got a job right now. The dude still got bills to pay, and he has a future to live. Like, don't do that to Baker Mayfield. I wouldn't let my ego be in front of me like, I'm not I plan for you. Anywhere in the NFL, if I'm Baker Mayfield, I want to play and I want to show up and show out. He hasn't done that consistently yet. However, I think he's better suited in terms of the dynamics and circumstances to go elsewhere and show that Cleveland was a hiccup more so than what he really is. But if I'm Baker Mayfield, here's what I'm saying. What? You've already used me enough. You've already used, used him. They yes. the best roster in football for two, three years, and he didn't do anything. But they disrespected him two times. They disrespected him by telling him they weren't going to sign Deshaun Watson and then signing Deshaun Watson. But they disrespected him by not appreciating what he did for them. Because oh. in the same manner that Baker Mayfield has underachieved based on being the number one overall pick, he's overachieved based on the experiences the Cleveland Browns have had for years before him. So if I'm Baker, oh. don't call me no more, Cleveland. Oh. You made your decision. You want Deshaun? Take everything that comes with Deshaun, mm. and it might potentially be a suspension. It might not, but in the event Deshaun Watson does miss games during the course of this mm. regular season, if I'm Baker, don't you dare mm. call me. You said you didn't want me, right? Mm. Bet we're good then. Okay, I feel like Baker, because don't you dare call me, because you disrespected me two times. One, you didn't tell me I could <laughs> right now up here, and two, you don't respect what I've done for you, man. I was your big homie before all this, but now you come on the show, you underdressed, you don't tell me how the segment gonna go, and then I'm supposed to feel respected. I ain't playing here no more. Speak for yourself. <laughs>